Uh, hey Jack, how's it going? Um, I like to. I wanted to make a video just to first say uh, how appalled we all are at the fact that your cameras came out missing the uh, week of the show. There, um, we're all hoping the same thing that it was just someone that it wasn't an attendee. It was just someone that walked through the shop and uh, and got those. But we are very excited that you've decided to move on and step up your game and get some proper cameras. Um, you know, with the Blackmagic Cinema camera. I mean, uh, that is a very exciting camera. I think you guys are gonna do some great stuff with that. So, I wanted to send you some stuff because that's where, that's the stuff that we do here at Jag35. Um, we design stuff for DSLRs and cameras that shoot uh, cinema quality uh, video. So, I wanted to send you a quick little, uh, this is called our DSLR stand. Um, it's a very basic thing that you can use to set up your camera and then give you industry standard 50 millimeter uh, rails. And what these rails allow you to do is to put a bunch of stuff in there like follow focus, uh, handles, batteries, uh, you name it. There's a bunch of stuff that these little cameras need as, as you might quickly realize that it's kind of awkward. The form factor is, is, you know, it's just a big box with the screen in the back and you're going to need some accessories to be able to, to do the job correctly so that's where we come in there's a you know me and a bunch of other people are doing a bunch of accessories for these cameras and and this is where we can help you so this is a basic um, rail system um, I designed this little guy um, it's a low profile version of the one that we've been selling for a few years now and it's for all the little small cameras that are coming out um, Blackmagic design camera is coming out with the cinema camera that it's a pocket um, so it's really, really small, and this is uh, where the, the other stuff is pretty much overkill. So this is a, this is a great product for that. Um, I think this is, this is going to work great for your camera. Um, um, it will uh, be just enough that is not too much. To, it, it won't, you're trying to keep your system uh, light um, and small so that you can, uh, it, it won't get in the way. So I'm going to show you how to put it here. Basically, what it allows you to do is mount... Uh, your camera to a tripod and even though you can do that without this guy um, this what al this allows you to do is have the uh, 50 millimeter rods in it so this has uh, 3 8 16 uh, threads and quarter 20 threads um, I don't know what kind of tripod you're using but most tripods will have either or uh, quarter 20 or 3 16 so you can put your little quick release plate in there and then you attach it there and then you're ready to go. I don't have a cinema, a, a Blackmagic uh, cinema camera with me, but let's just pretend this is the cinema camera, right? Uh, what you do have to do is just find your quarter 20 hole in there and attach it to this little uh, quarter 20 screw. Um, I designed all my parts so that they're toolless. You don't need a screwdriver to put them on. You don't need a, a, a coin or something like that or a small, tiny little screwdriver. I didn't want that because basically what ends up happening is I always lose all the stuff and I don't have the keys with me, they're in the bag. and So the magic here is to have toolless um, mounting accessories. So basically this will be your uh, camera. It'll be round, uh, mounted on rods. It'll be nice and stable here on your tripod and then you can shoot the show. Um, if you need an extra battery or if you need a microphone or you have to, I know you like to use uh, some audio stuff, you have the wireless microphones, um, I can send you some little brackets so that you can attach them to these uh, uh, rods and you can keep your whole system here attached in one place, uh, accessible so that you can, you can uh, operate it. Um, also. I know that you don't like shaky footage, none of us do, and I, I heard you mention that in a few of the episodes where you said, Richard, uh, it's all shaky and stuff. For that, our system is modular, so what happens is that you can just keep adding stuff for whatever situation that is that you're shooting. So let's say that you guys are going to, you know, let's say that Elon Musk uh, invites you to take a tour of uh, the uh, factory over here in Fremont, California, and you want to come and you want to shoot it with your brand new camera, right? Okay. So, for that, we'll have these parts. This is, uh, I think we call these like the handlebars or something. These are handles that you can attach in these industry standard uh, uh, rod system. 
So basically what you do, it's really easy. You just loosen up some of these, um, some of these knobs here and then what it allows you to do is to put it on there really quickly. We'll back up the camera a little bit. And um, we'll make sure the rods are nice and straight. It's got knobs in here that you can use your fingers to attach them. So all of a sudden you have handles. What does it allow you to do? Well, it allows you to quickly put this other part in here. This is a shoulder mount. Um, and the same part that uh, it's used as a studio kit, like for shooting the video or the shooting the, the, uh, the show every week, um, you could use it for, a, uh, it could quickly morph into uh, a shoulder mount. And what it allows you to do is shoot all day it won't get you as tired and it will allow you to shoot video uh, steady. So let me just show you how it goes here. It basically goes on your shoulder. And what it allows you to do is put the camera right in front of your face and it gives you a counterweight. This is a, what is it, a four pound weight back here so that um, the, all the weight of the camera, basically, you don't have to use your arms to hold it. It helps you by putting some counterweight back there. And it, it allows you, the heavier the, the rig is, the, stable, the more stable it is. So um, this quickly morphs into that. We have a bunch of kits like this uh, that we put together. Uh, and you can use for different cameras or for different configurations. There's one that's straight. that doesn't put the camera right in front of you. But since the Blackmagic uh, design camera has the screen right in the back of the camera then you'll have to put it right in front of your face it can't be on the side here because then you'll get tired really quickly after a few hours of shooting so let's say that you're uh, shooting you know the uh, factory uh, the model s factory down here in Ke fremont um, richard can go around and shoot this uh, guy all day he won't get that tired um, and he can get some steady video um, all right we're going to talk about the mad box. Um, if you see in your blog, you posted a picture of this, the, the, the black uh, magic cinema camera that you just got. And it's got a, a basic set of rods like this one, like the one I'm sending here. And it also has a mad box. Um, we don't manufacture a mad box, but we have a buddy of ours. And we've been selling stuff together since the very beginning. He manufactures this, uh, this mad box, which is designed uh, not for the big uh, Hollywood cameras, but it's designed for all the DSLRs and all these small form factor cameras that are coming out. Anyways, this is fully adjustable, uh, which is going to work great with our low profile uh, uh, stand that, that, that I got here on this one. So basically all you have to do is just put it in front of your rods. And um, you have to loosen some of these bolts in here so that allows you to put them in there quicker and all you have to do is adjust your camera right to it um, what a mad box will do was allows you to shade some of the light that's coming uh, and, and hitting your lens in an angle and that creates glare on your lenses uh, taking away the uh, contrast so it lets your pictures look less contrasty, which is not a desirable thing. So you want to try to keep all that light away from the lens and only the light that's coming from the front. So this is what a matte box uh, primary does. The secondary uh, purpose of the matte box is to be able to drop in filters that could also uh, do stuff to your image. Uh, you can put uh, like ND filters to be able to even out your image and your exposure. Uh, you can do grads if uh, you want to get your skies and, and exposure, you know, and uh, there's a bunch of other filters that do like effects like you can if you're shooting a wedding, there's the one that you put in there and it, 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 it makes every highlight look like a little star. And, I mean, there's a bunch of them and you need a matte box usually to put them on. So that's what a matte box will do. And a third thing that it, it does. Um, it's it makes your camera, I guess uh, for some people it's the most important thing. It makes your camera look cool. Uh, it makes your camera look pretty legit. Um, you show up to an event and you're shooting with a camera in your hand, you just think you're just another tourist, but you put some of this equipment in there and it makes you look like you're a, you know, a professional, which is uh, what a lot of us are after. You know? So this is the Madbox. I'm also including this one in the kit so that uh, you guys can use it to shoot the show every week.
we almost lost our wheel right here. 